Hello and welcome to Bullet Point episode 2. Here's bullet number 2 out of 10. Which were. And by the way, a quick little thing. I got these bullets from the Bobson Tank Museum in. fucking England somewhere, I don't fucking know. If you're from that area, you fucking know where it is. Uh, like Somerset Way, fuck it. Anyway, yeah, off topic. This is episode two, and this is a, a funnier one. This is phone stories. So episode two is phone stories. So let's kick it off. My first ever phone was a Sony Ericsson Flip Up. Yes, that's when flip ups were a thing. Um, I used to go to this group called Viva, and uh, we went swimming. So, I took my phone with me. Me being an idiot. Now, was this Sony Flip Up? I don't think it was. I, I don't think it was. I'm trying to remember now. I want to know it was blue and silver and it was a flip up. <laughs> and it was a nice phone. <laughs> um, I think it was Sony. Yeah, it, it, was, it was a nice phone either way, fuck it. Um, I had it in my pocket. I jumped in the swimming pool. Yeah, you know what happens with water and phones. <laughs> and back in that day, water protection or waterproof phones weren't a thing. So phones like this, yeah, phones like these weren't a thing. There was no such thing as flipping touch phones or smartphones. There was flip ups and all that was Nokia's and Motorola's. And that's and so that so that one got buggered. I think I went through three different phones in one month. Um, <laughs> all of them just random coincidences. Um, one I got rugby tackled on the floor, fell and crushed the phone. Another one I had the Sony. I had a Sony. I can't remember if it was the X10. I think. I don't think it was the X10 that went out then. It was, it was a slidey up one. You found the was ones that, at the time, the sides used to light up. Um, I think a friend of mine, Lewis Griffiths, he might know what I'm on about because I think he's still got that phone. You know what I'm on? You know what i the one he used to have, those slide up ones. Yeah. Um. So that broke and had to get fixed. Um, and then for re some reason, the uh, sliding part started getting mushing up, so I fucked up as well. Um, I dropped, a uh, phone fell, down, fell out of my pocket and went to the toilet. And by the way, this was a £300 phone. This is when touch phones are starting to come in. This is when touch phones are coming into fashion. Um, uh, another one. My phone was in my pocket. Another pocket instant. It ended up in a washing machine. Uh, so yeah, I didn't have much luck with phones. Um, this is my Z2. This is when the original one I had. The original one I had, a cup fell on it. So. Cups and phones don't make a good match either. But this new phone I'm getting, the Sony Xperia XZ, which I thought I was going to get today, but it's not until October the 6th, so i got two weeks to wait. Um, it's got something called Gorilla Grass. Grass? Gorilla Glass. And it's version 5, so it's the most strongest glass they've made so far. Um, there's a problem because my stand being on me. Because you can see with this one, this ain't even, this ain't even, even, even fixed either. This part over here is supposed to stop the water. This is the waterproofing part of this phone. It's not fucking waterproof anymore now, is it? Um, so yeah, that's my phone stories of uh, my fuck-ups. And, uh, and how I'm not very good with phones. No. I'm not very good at anything either. 
I had an old, uh, this is going off top a little bit, I noticed this phone straight by, I had an old 19 inch TV which fell and it fell on the, I usually have this huge hi-fi system which um, lit up blue and the music and the uh, TV fell to them and cracked the screen. Yeah. So that uh, concludes episode 2 of Bullet Point. I'll see you in the next one.